Brooks Bototrack here and uh, today I'm standing behind the L2501. Uh, it is super cold outside. We're in very tight quarters. Um, I have a little bit of time so today we're going to mount a toolbox to the back of the L2501. Uh, we're going to do this uh, pretty quickly. I'm going to spare you guys the agony of watching me cut and drill and do all those rudimentary tasks. Uh, we're just kind of give you an idea of something that you can do uh, if you need to put a toolbox on the back of your tractor and uh, we're gonna do it with unistrut, some brackets, and some stainless steel bolts. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the die grinder and we're gonna cut this uh, weld off right here and then kind of bend that tab back and forth and get it off of here so that we have a flat surface. Uh, to go ahead and, and use as part of the mount. So uh, I'm going to use the die grinder right there with a little bit of air and we're going to grind this weld off um, and uh, maybe the other weld if, uh, if we have to, if we can't pop it up. So hold on, we'll be back in just a second. Let's get okay. that started. So now that we uh, ground the tab off, we're going to take the air sander, if it ever focuses, we're going to take the air sander and we're going to smooth all that out pretty good or as best as we can and then uh, try to we'll hit it with some rust proofing primer and paint um, but not right away we're gonna get everything kinda mocked up and then we'll we'll give it a little shot of something before we mount the box so uh, the tabs off let's get that uh, sanded down uh, smooth there and uh, move forward with the next step be right back okay so now that we got that sanded down uh, we have the strut laid out we have the brackets the strut bolts we have all the other bolts that we're going to need to uh, snap this together. The only thing I'm going to have to do is mark out uh, the brackets. Uh, where the brackets go, we'll take you over here real quick. We'll mark the brackets uh, out. Uh, we'll mark the holes, we'll drill it. And uh, then we'll have to cut the strut uh, to fit in between the rops and uh, bolt the whole thing up. So again, this is, this is a pretty simple, easy job, and you'll see what it looks like when it's done. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so uh, apparently I got a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, I can't lay it up and level it uh, with the horizontal bar that held the old toolbox there uh, until I cut this piece of strut down. So uh, I measured it out, which came out to be 20 and a quarter tight, and uh, I put a piece of tape on here and then used a square to give myself a square um, and a, a perfectly perpendicular line and then I'm gonna just use a uh, miter saw with a steel cutting blade in it uh, to cut that off smooth so we'll get that cut and then uh, we'll we'll take a look at the mock-up okay so all I did was take my miter saw it's about 20 years old it predates all of my kids so it's a little bit older than that put a rebar cutting blade in it and uh, laid the unistrut down on the table and uh, we're just gonna give it a nice square cut off end uh, if you're going to try to do this, just make sure that you're taking into account the thickness of the blade because a rebar cutting blade is a little bit thicker, uh, I think, than, than at least the blade that was on there, a panel cutting blade. So uh, take your time, cut it, get it nice and snug, and be mindful of the thickness of the blade. So we'll get this cut, and then uh, we'll go over and we'll, we'll set it up. Okay, now that it's cut, we're just going to take the uh, sanding tool over there which is not going to come into focus because my camera's cold and uh, we're gonna just dress that end up and uh, make sure it fits between the rocks before we mark out the brackets uh, and drill the holes so uh, let's get this phase done and we'll be on to the next alright so now with this cut and polished off the edges off of here we're gonna flip it around and these flat nuts right here fit right inside here okay now uh, they make a nut that's for this size unistrut I happen to have a package of the larger unistrut nuts around so it's no big deal you just have to pull the spring off and then uh, you'll be able to bolt the bottom of this bracket or the top of the bracket to the bottom of the unistrut like that so uh, we're gonna put these ends on and then hold it up to the wraps we're gonna mark the hole and um, We'll uh, hit it with a punch so that we're in the center of the hole and then we'll, we'll drill the holes through the rops. Now I know some of you guys are going to completely lose your mind when I drill through the rops, but 
my choice, what I decide to do, you need to know that it's going to void the warranty on your ROPS. It's going to void, it could void any liability coverage they have. Um, but this is America, baby. I live the way I want to live. So we're going to uh, get this bolted up. We're going to bring it over and mark the holes. And uh, we'll be right back before we drill. Okay, so I put some tape on the ROPS. I drew a straight edge uh, to mark out the center. The ROPS are three inches wide. So obviously an inch and a half is where I put a center line and um, I have a small torpedo level out. That's going to level up the strut to the uh, horizontal bar where the old toolbox set and uh, I'll be able to get my holes uh, pretty close to perfect. Uh, again, if you're not comfortable drilling holes through your ROPS, you can always use a U-bolt or some sort of contraption like that, but like I said, I, I grew up not having uh, rollover protection on tractors and and it's just in the way for me so I use it as a support bar for accessories and like I said that's gonna flip some of you guys out um, and you're probably right but this is how I do it so uh, I'll get these marked out and I'll show you what the markings look like before I drill them okay so now everything is marked and uh, I center punched the intersections there I know the top one looks like it's off but that's just the way the, the tape rolled up after I hit it with the prick punch. Um, so we're going to get a drill and uh, we're going to be very careful to drill straight through this and uh, we're going to drill a couple times. Uh, we're going to keep the bit cool with some oil even though it's pretty soft steel and uh, we're eventually going to uh, roll this out to uh, 3 8 of an inch on both sides. So uh, I'm going to drill these out and we'll be right back. Okay so now the holes are drilled. All I have to do now is deburr them all right but uh, you can see I used quite a bit of oil to keep uh, those bits cool it's kinda all over the tractor I had to wipe it up off the ground uh, to keep from stepping in it uh, but I drilled the holes I think I used six bits all together and uh, uh, you know we worked our way up until we got it so let's get uh, these uh, deburred and uh, I'll go ahead and and mock this brace up. Now we're going to take the unistrut and we're going to um, bolt that down and uh, we'll use the unistrut uh, bolts that go in the back there. I showed you them in the beginning. Uh, they're going to go in and, and uh, we'll bolt them to the L brackets that are bolted into the ROPS and I'll show you how that looks in just a second. Okay, so I, I don't want to seem like I'm beating a dead horse, but I, I know some of you guys know what this is and some of you guys don't know what this is. So Unistrut, U-N-I-Strut, S-T-R-U-T. These are called spring nuts. These, go, these fit inside the track of the Unistrut. And uh, these are just stainless steel bolts with stainless steel lock washers on them. And this is how we're going to bolt the Unistrut down to the angle brackets. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this up. I'll show you what it looks like before uh, I tighten everything down and uh, we'll get to that in just a second. So, see you in a few. Okay folks, so we're kind of getting uh, towards the end of this here and uh, these, uh, those um, Unistrut steel nuts, uh, they're rectangular shaped so they can fit, you know, underneath the lip and then you can slide them over and you can hold the nut down with one finger and you can run the bolt into it with the other. If you just take your time, then um, they, they only turn one way. So they turn like 15 minutes uh, and then they lock into uh, the interior of the strut and uh, then it's just a matter of simply tightening down the bolt. So as we move around, you can see that I have the bolts with the lock washers there and we're gonna take the ratchet and tighten these down and then uh, we ought to be pretty good uh, as far as this crossbar goes uh, pretty good to uh, figure how we're going to go ahead and, and put the uh, toolbox on it so I'm probably going to take a piece of angle iron uh, or two pieces of angle iron inside the box and then bolt them uh, right to these two uh, surfaces so let me get those bolts tightened up and uh, we'll throw the box on top and you'll be able to take a look at what we got there uh, just before I, I anchor it down so be right back okay so there's the mock-up it's uh, sitting on there just about where it needs to be let me kinda 
get over here a little bit. Um, I have tools in it right now, so I got to knock the tools out. But I set it and I placed it so that uh, it could easily be opened up. I'm sorry, I have to be so close to it. So it could be opened up and the lid would open uh, to a 90 degree angle before it hits the seat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a hold down with some angle iron. I'm going to drill up from underneath through the unistrut, uh, which will give me my template for the holes on the angle iron, and I'll show you how that goes. And then we'll uh, bolt it all down and finish this up and make this one uh, a done deal. So uh, on to the next step, and I'll be back in a second. All right, folks, so I found a piece of uh, flat stock and a piece of angle iron, and uh, you can see how I'm going to lay them. Uh, inside the toolbox against uh, both the uh, horizontal surfaces there and then uh, uh, bolt the, the toolbox down, kind of sandwiching the bottom of the toolbox in between uh, the two brackets and then uh, the two pieces of, of uh, stock steel there. So uh, I'm going to drill the holes that need to be drilled and I already made a template, kind of, uh, in the bottom of the toolbox for the flat stock, um, I'll drill the angle out uh, where it needs to be, uh, and then it's just really a matter of transferring the holes over to the box and uh, bolting it down. Okay, there you go, folks. The uh, brackets um, have been uh, measured, cut, and drilled out, and they're ready to um, be dropped into. Uh, the toolbox to hold the toolbox down to uh, the new um, struts that we put in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these bolts down and insert the toolbox and we'll be back in just a second for the final uh, preview and uh, parting words. Alright folks, there's the final product. It's mounted, it's done, it's pretty much complete. I'm gonna pull it back off so I can paint that little corner there that needs to be painted and then we're gonna zip it down but you don't need to stick around for the paint. I had the box. The box is a good weatherproof box. It has a nice seal on it that keeps moisture out. Good heavy hardware made of some sort of a, a plastic fiber as you can see here. Uh, when it comes in that uh, I can pop this open and there's just a nice amount of room that's inside there that uh, that'll really uh, be useful for putting uh, tools in and, and I do have a bunch of tools to go in it so let's show you what the inside looks like so there you go there is those pieces that uh, we made and drilled and cut and put in uh, we the bolts that we had laying around so we got this finished and uh, it's completely mounted so there's a really good idea uh, if you want to use it to fabricate your own box to, uh, to carry your tools or whatever else you, you think you might need to carry. The angle brackets and the unistrut is uh, coated with some kind of a zinc coating or weatherproof coating that keeps it from rusting. Uh, the box itself will never rust. The hardware won't rust. I'm not going to paint any of that. I am going to touch up the orange where I ground off that tab uh, in the very beginning, but that's about it. Please uh, leave me some comments, hit subscribe if you want to. Uh, good luck and Godspeed, Bodatrack out.